Create new world. Creative world type, super flat. I'm happy with that. Done. Create new world. Wow, we got slimes all over the place. Uh, time set noon. Uh, game rule. Do daylight suck all false. Game rule. Uh, do weather cycle false. All right. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at all these creatures spawning around me. Hello everybody. This is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Maker. Minecraft Lion Party, whatever. Um, we are in creative daylight so no other beasts you should be spawning but goodness gracious oh and there's two villages right next to each other whoo hi guys we're gonna have some fun um I wanna, let's see this one over here so many slime chunks oh and this slime oh, I'm trampling crops all right so how are you? I am in creative. This is not the Minecraft land party server, obviously. Um, game mode peace, peaceful. Uh oh, no, 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 no. Difficulty <laughs> peaceful by slimes. Okay. So how's it going? Um, we are here on a creative world that I just created in Minecraft 1.13.2. Ah, hello, buddy. Ah, you're a librarian and you got an infinity trade for 16. You're doing pretty good. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to capture some of these guys because I, I kind of, uh, I want to do some tests. I have not upgraded the Minecraft LAN party server for a couple reasons. Huh, huh. Oh, you, another one over here. Hello, are you also a librarian? Yes, you are. Um, so, I have not upgraded the server. The first obvious reason being that uh, Spigot has not updated to 1.14. So, books. Uh, so, so no, no opportunity to update anyway. Uh, but the other reason being that, uh, I've been keeping a track of some of the changes and the things that people are talking about. And there are clearly some pretty significant bugs that even if there were a spigot build out for 1.14, I'm not sure that I would want to update to it just yet. Um, there are some bugs that are, hey, uh, have some significant impacts on servers, which is not awesome. And uh, just performance issues. Is that bedrock down at the bottom? No, that can't be. Is it? Why is there bedrock? Are we that low in the world? <laughs> okay. Yeah, we are. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah. Oops. So, I have concerns about the performance, but bigger concern of 
what happens to my villagers? Um, they have completely changed the way villagers work. And I think it is potentially problematic. Because I have a whole collection of villagers that I've spent a lot of time and energy putting together. And I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to lose all those villagers. Um, and it sounds like... Oops. I really can't type and talk at the same time. Uh, it sounds like you can get around some of the issues. Um, but I'm not positive you can get around all of the issues. So, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put down some stone brick here. And we're going to put down some stone brick here. And this is where this guy is going to be standing. Oops. And we will... I'm going to build some sample um, villager curls stalls where I will be keeping these guys, right? So if we do this and this and this, and this is going to be similar to the way I'm keeping them at the moment. Um, but I may have to rearrange things a bit. Uh, fortunately, I have them all in minecarts, so that should not be a problem. Uh, but some of the things I want to test is whether or not the villager mechanics rely on having uh, sky access, because they might. Uh, and then, oh, I need some trapdoors. Let's use, um, yeah, let's use the spruce, that's fine. <clears throat> so, if I put that guy there, blop, and then I don't have to worry about roof on him just yet. So what I want to do is I want to basically build this simulation of... There you go. Hi, guy. A simulation of some of the villagers that I have now. And actually, a roof on here is not a bad idea. Hi. And I can get rid of this. Blop. Okay. You got some light. Not that I'm worried about villager, uh, about BC spawning because this is, after all, a peaceful creative world. So I build up another one here. And get that other villager moved in. And then we'll we'll take a look and we'll, we'll we'll do some tests. So I'll be right back. So one thing I have to do is I have to make sure there aren't any beds anywhere near here. Uh, these villagers are this this is a village because of these doors, and that changes right. So if I go and destroy all these doors. Uh, this ceases to be a village and these villagers then will be like, well, I don't know what I'm doing here and they'll wander off and they might actually wander off to that other village over there. I don't know if it's close enough that they can see it. Um, so I want to grab a couple more of these guys. I, I snagged this nitwit over here, right? And... So the, in the new structure, villages are composed of beds. So they're um, and not doors. And the villagers have points of interest. And when they spawn in the first place, my understanding is that they are essentially all nitwits, that they have no profession. Um, and then when they go and wander off and they find themselves a point of interest, so for a farmer, for instance, like we have these brown coat guys now and the brown coats, um, 
So that guy there's a Fletcher. Oh, I think I may have actually secured all of the villagers in this village. No, except for this guy. Hi. So, so farmers, their, their point of interest are compost bins. Ah, oh, there we go. So I've got one, two, three, four. Oh, no, no, I've got more guys than this. They've been hiding from me. So a, a villager gets spawned. He's unemployed. He has no profession. Oops. And he goes. And if he wanders across and finds a composter, then he will uh, become a farmer. And that may only be able to happen at certain times of day. I'm not positive, but that is what makes a farmer. Okay, so I'm gonna build out I'm gonna build out a bunch of these carols and then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six guys to put in them. So I'm gonna take care of that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to document what trades these guys have and trade with some of them, but not with all of them. And Uh, and then I will update this world to 1.14 and see what impact that has on the villagers. So my hope is that once you've already traded, once you've made trades with a villager for a particular trade, uh, they keep that trade. But I'm not positive that's the case. And it sounds like on the actual release, things are a little bit different, meaning um, villagers get reset. They don't inherit the, 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 the trades, you know, the, the, the information they had from before, which is a little disconcerting. Um, so we will find out, do a little test. Uh, and then uh, see if that has an impact on how we decide to proceed with the update to 1.14. All right, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight villagers here. And I have now this because they are in range of some of these doors, maybe. Actually, they might be. Uh, I don't know. But plop. And if I get rid of these. Up. No door there. Uh, this no longer counts as a village. Um, and then go iron golem spawning. Whoops. Iron golem spawning's completely different now <laughs> as well. So before, if you had 10 villagers, a yeah, village with 10 villagers, they had a chance periodically of spawning a iron golem and iron golem uh and now it's not and now basically they don't they don't call in the iron golem unless they feel that there is danger and that danger would be in the form of oh my gosh there's a zombie and then they start spreading gossip so they have mbt tags that are gossip tags and then one of the gossip tags that they have is oh look there's a, there's a zombie uh, or that we need an iron golem um, and so that is, and once, once that gossip, once the iron golem gossip gets up to a certain point, um, then they, uh, th then an iron golem can spawn that there's a chance of it. And the chance of it under that circumstance is, is a lot higher than, uh, it was, uh, before so if you have a if you have a situation where you have um 
a few villagers that have the iron golem gossip and they uh they basically decide that things are dangerous and they need an iron golem the iron golem will spawn right away by the librarian so what i want to do is so he's got a paper trade of 30 And then I'm going to put in 30, um, let's do that, paper 30, and he's got this looting one for seven, um, oh, paper 30, looting one for seven. And these X's are going to indicate that I'm going to do that trade with them. So, here's what I need. I need some. I need some paper. All right, blop, and I need emeralds. Blop. Okay. And this paper and emeralds. I'm going to put in here, and then we're just going to grab a bunch of paper. And then a bunch of emeralds. Probably don't need this many emeralds, but you know, whatever. Uh, let's grab some additional paper. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so I'm gonna actually go and do these trades with him. Huh? That's right. So you're gonna take, I've got some paper here for you. Uh-huh. You're happy with that. What a deal. It's been so long since I've gone through the achievements. And then uh, looting one takes uh, seven. Oh, I need books. Um, book. I need books. I'm going to put books in uh, here. I'm gonna hide this, and I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab a stack of books. All right. So you want seven emeralds and a book. Huh. Um. I need to. Okay. Looting one. Huh. Okay. So now. Let me get a chest. So I don't need this dirt. I'm going to put this chest here. And we will put that in there. Okay. And some other. I don't need all this stuff. I need that. I need this. I don't need this. Okay. This will work. Okay. So now. Looty one. Now he's got 10 books for an emerald, 11 emeralds for that, four, two. Huh? Okay. I don't know if I want to document all these. But I should. Okay. Uh, let me go. Let me go do this. I'll put up some stuff on the signs and then we'll, we'll go from there. Okay, so we are now, uh, I've, I've got these guys all sort of sorted out, got trades unlocked, and I've got it all documented in a spreadsheet because the signs were getting too complicated. So on like this first villager, uh, I have all of the trades unlocked and I have traded all of the trades. Uh, this librarian, I have almost all the trades unlocked. I do not have the um, the name tag unlocked and I have not traded these the, the written book, the clock, the glass, fire aspect of power four books. Cleric. Uh, the cleric here I have blop, I have 
This guy I've traded all the trades, and the next guy I've traded just the first two, but I've they're all unlocked. They're all unlocked. <clears throat> but I haven't traded all of them. Uh, Farmer, I have traded everything. And got them all unlocked. Uh, this Fletcher, <laughs> I have not traded anything, so he just has the initial two. And then the last Fletcher, I've got him, I traded the first two and unlocked the next two. Uh, and then the Nitwood, of course, whoops, the Nitwood, of course, doesn't have any trades, so no, nothing to unlock or open there. So, so that's the situation, and I've got leftover stuff in here, and um, right now it's noon. Time of day becomes an important thing. Um, time ticks, Java, uh, I think noon is, let's see here. Oh, noon is 6,000. So at 6,000, it's in their work period. <coughs> and yeah, okay. Working, wandering. Anyway, I don't know what's going to happen. We will find out. I'm going to make a backup of this world in case I have to come back to it. And then I'm going to upgrade it to 1.14. And we'll come back and see what these guys are and see what their trades look like.